Okay, as you can see here, they organize the weapons pretty good, actually, and sort the weapons in their own classes. So you got the shotguns first, then you got the machine guns, then grenade launchers, then magnums, and then rocket launchers. And most of these weapons are from the main series games. So the way I'm going to review it is I'm just going to go from left to right on this menu, but in the certain order of each class, I'm going to start with the weakest, and then I'm going to go to the strongest. So the first shotgun is the shotgun SA. Weaker than other shotguns, but comes with an increased ammo capacity. So yes, this is the weakest shotgun, but it has the most capacity and possibly the fastest reload speed. I don't know about that. We'll find out later. Alright, let's test it out. One thing I want to point out, since I beat this game, all my weapons are on level 4. So try to not concern yourself too much with that. I know I should probably be reviewing these weapons on level 1, but since I beat the game, they're on level 4, and I don't have the nerve to begin a brand new game, so I just can retrieve all the weapons so they can have level 1. So get over it. Alright, here we go. I need to get out of here. Alright, I switched the game to hard modes because everyone was dying in one shot. So, but now that it's in hard mode, I could properly test the weapons out. Except for the handguns, they're going to stay being reviewed in easy mode. Because since that's your primary weapon, and you're going for the headshots and criticals anyway, it really shouldn't make too much of a difference. So here we go. Testing the shotguns on a hunter. Alright, so three shots for a hunter, like, when they're close up and you hit them straight in the face, you could expect one shot, even on hard mode, but if you don't hit the face, I think it will take at least two shots, because before I clicked the record button, I tested it out on a hunter first, before I started recording, to see how many it would, and it took two when I did it that time, so, say two to three shots for a hunter, for the shotgun SA. Alright, now for the next shotgun. Alright, I found out that the shotgun SA was not the weakest shotgun. Rather, this, the regular shotgun, is the weakest. The spread effect of this powerful gun is most effective at close range. So this is the weakest shotgun. With the firepower, um, they grade the firepower by, like, letters. So... The firepower when that level 4 for this is D+, plus, while the SA was C. So, obviously this shotgun is weaker, but sorry I made that mistake. Alright, let's test the regular shotgun out. I need to get out of here. Okay, uh, I think he died on the second shot, even though my third shot still hit him. Even when enemies are dead, you can still hit him, which is a complete waste of ammo. So... I'm assuming that took two shots, so firepower between the shotgun and the shotgun SA isn't too far, but if that's the way it goes, then the next shotgun should take one shot. Let's find out. Alright, here is the strongest shotgun, the assault shotgun. Despite low reload times and limited ammo capacity, this gun packs a punch. Yeah, alright. Now let's test the final shotgun out on a hunter. Should take one shot, if it's true, but the firepower. I need to get out of here. Okay. That time took three shots, and the way that hunter was standing was the weirdest thing I've ever seen a hunter do. But that the hunter after it only took one shot, probably because it was a face shot, or critical shot, whatever. But I kind of side-whisked the first one, that's probably why it took more than two shots. But it shouldn't matter how I do this, really, how it turns out. It's completely random sometimes. So, that that's it for the shotguns. And so in order of firepower, shotgun, shotgun SA, and assault shotgun. Alright, that is it for the shotguns. Now for the next weapon class. Alright, now for the submachine guns. The first one is just the plain submachine gun. Large ammo capacity combined with rapid fire ability lays waste to enemies. Alright, this is the weakest machine gun. I checked this time. This is the weakest. And it just goes straight down, so this will be easy. Alright, let's test the submachine gun out.
We're too late! Alright, so I started with 1500 and now I'm at 1484. So, 16 shots it took. Maybe 15, maybe because one of the shots was after he died. I don't know. You want to slow mo it? You want to review it? Go ahead, tell me. I, I'll say 15 to 16 shots with the regular submachine gun for a standard zombie. All right, that's it for the submachine gun. All right, now for the next machine gun, the automatic pistol. This gun's rapid fire eats through ammo but deals quick damage. So this machine gun has the fastest firing rate. But it also has a little bit more firepower than the previous machine gun. Alright, let's test the automatic pistol out. No, we're too late! Alright, so only 10 shots with the automatic pistol on a standard zombie. Alright, that's it for the automatic pistol. Alright, now for the last machine gun. The submachine gun HP. This gun makes up for a drop in ammo capacity with firepower. So yes, this is the most powerful machine gun, but there's always a trade-off, and this time it's ammo capacity. It's still a lot of ammo though, so it's tolerable. Alright, let's test the last machine gun out. Wait! What? Alright, so only six shots with the machine submachine gun HP. So that proves that it is the most powerful machine gun. Alright, well, that's it for the machine guns. Now for the next weapon class. Alright, now for the grenade launchers. The first grenade launcher, the grenade launcher AT. Fires hand grenades with a large blast radius. Good for crowd control. All the weapons from this point are pretty powerful, so I am going to test them on Nemesis. But not to defeat him, rather to trigger a cutscene, which can take quite amount of shots. I uh, tested it out before recording this part, so this is this will be good enough for testing. So I'm gonna test it on Nemesis to trigger a cutscene. I know it's new, but it will work. All right, let's go for it. This way. So, three rounds to trigger the cutscene with the grenade launcher AT. Alright, now for the next grenade launcher. The regular grenade launcher. A wide range of destruction makes it perfect for clearing out groups. Alright, let's test the regular grenade launcher out. We have to get to the roof! Come on! This way! So only two grenades for the regular grenade launcher. So that proves the regular grenade launcher is more powerful than the grenade launcher AT. Of course, I'm reviewing an order of firepower, so it's kind of expected. All right, that is it for the regular grenade launcher. All right, now for the last grenade launcher. The grenade launcher HP has a smaller blast radius than other launchers, but deals serious damage. All right, and yes, this is the most powerful grenade launcher with the stunning power firepower rank of S. Alright, let's test it out. We have to get to the roof. Come on. This way. Alright, so that only took two shots as well. So the firepower between the grenade launcher HP and the regular grenade launcher isn't too far. But the grenade launcher HP is the most powerful grenade launcher. But the drawback, it has a very low ammo capacity, so you might want to consider using the, using the regular grenade launcher for the time being until you whack up some ammo for the HP. Alright, well that concludes the grenade launchers. Now for the next weapon class.